guys. Today I'm here for a new edition of bands you need to listen to because they're amazing. Because I've discovered some bands recently that I figured I would share with you because why keep them all to myself when I could just let you guys know about some good music coming out of the world. You know, stuff that I do on a regular basis. But I'm just gonna jump right into it. First band we have is Young Fathers. I actually saw them a couple of weeks ago at Nemo's. Um, my friend Sean told me to listen to them a couple of months ago and I was like, okay, fine. But I didn't actually start listening to them until like three days before the show. And I was like, hey, they're playing. He's like, I'm going, do you wanna go? And I was like, yeah. This is a band from Scotland and they're like experimental hip hop that's also like slightly tribal and really intense and like when they're performing they kind of look at you like they're gonna kill you but it was definitely a different kind of experience it was different and unlike anything i've ever heard before and if you can picture the tv show skins like the british teen drama um like all the episodes that are really like intense and like not angsty but like where they get in trouble and stuff that is like the epitome of young fathers <laughs> this band i mean it's scottish experimental hip-hop like, what? The next guy is relatively local. His name is Robert DeLong. And I actually saw him a couple of years ago at Sasquatch. And I don't think he, he's not playing this year. No, I don't know what I'm thinking. But he has a new song that's been playing on the end nonstop. It's called Long Way Down. I actually included it as my song of the day once. But his new stuff is so good. It's like this really upbeat... I mean, he's like... It's electronic music, but it's also like pop music and it's not like the cr all the crap that you're hearing. It's it's like radio friendly, but also like local and cool and like different. And apparently he's a really nice dude. I have a bunch of mutual friends with him on Facebook, um, which is always kind of weird. It's like, oh, that guy's on like the radio all the time right now. And like people you may know on Facebook, this dude, Robert DeLong. If you like electronic music, um, if you like painting your face and if you like just generally having fun, I would definitely check out his stuff. Like his older stuff is good, but I like his newer stuff. It's a little bit more, there's more vocals. It's a little more complex, but I dig it. The next band is a band called Thunder Pussy. And it's exactly what you would think. Thunder put like Thunder Pussy. Like it's a band, like all girls. Although I did see them once and they had a different drummer. Their regular drummer was playing with the other band that she plays with, so. Everybody in the band used to be in other bands or are currently playing in other bands, so it's kind of like a all-female supergroup out of Seattle, which is like the best thing ever. They have a self-titled track, Thunder Pussy, which is like so badass and so awesome. They were on band in Seattle a few months, a months, weeks ago, probably like a month ago. Um, but you should definitely check out that episode. It was really awesome. I didn't get to record the voiceover for that one, unfortunately, but. I've seen them play a couple of times now. They opened for Rainwolf at the Showbox on New Year's Eve, and it was so epic. You hear the name Thunder Pussy, you think, oh, this sounds like it would probably sound like this. It sounds like that. Like, it sounds like what you would think it would, and that's awesome. The next band is a group called Smokey Brights, which were also on band in Seattle. Their episode has not aired yet. Um, I attended their live show probably a month ago. Yeah, just a little over a month ago, but um, they're a local band. They are also friends of friends. They played at Dobe last year, and I think they're playing at Block Park. No, they're playing at Sasquatch, I think. Either playing Sasquatch or Bumbershoot. I'll put the right one wherever I'm supposed to, somewhere on this video, but they're just really fun, summery, springy, kind of upbeat rock, but it's also like like groovy and soul type stuff and and their new stuff is awesome. Like the first time I saw them was a couple of years ago and I liked them, but I'm hearing their new stuff, I'm like, ooh, yay, new Smokey Brights. Like as soon as their episode of Band in Seattle airs, I'll definitely let you know. I'll be keeping you guys updated because the episodes that I went to um, and the episodes I'm really, really excited that I got to host will be airing in the future. Um, so I'll keep you up to date on that stuff. You know, Band in Seattle, that show that I'm on TV for, which is fucking weird. And then the last band is another super group, yeah, uh, called Sisters. And there's only one girl in the band Emily Westman, who also plays in Lamolo and who also plays in Seattle Rock Orchestra, and uh, Andrew Vate, who usually just play, used to play solo stuff and then plays with the Rock Orchestra and played with Eternal Fair, who I saw open for Alan Stone a few years ago. Very confusing, but 
him and Emily came together to make this like really fun like pop music that is so catchy and so ridiculously fun and they were playing at Starbucks for a while guys they were on the Starbucks playlist like they're also friends of friends uh, their songs their singles are so good like back to you they're locals and they're really cool people and I like it I like it a lot yeah those are some bands I've been digging on lately but definitely after Sasquatch I'll make another one of these guys because undoubtedly there will be more bands that I discover at Sasquatch because you know like that's how it works right but today's song of the day is Shame by Young Fathers. Um, my last tutorial I had a Young Fathers song in it and a couple of you guys seem to like it. Shame is off their new record White Men or Black Men 2 uh, which is awesome. Um, the song that was in the last one is called Get Up and it was on their album called Dead but Young Fathers, seriously, check them out. They're going places, man. They won like the Mercury Prize or whatever in the UK, like above a bunch of other big fancy people. So that's cool. But yeah, I'm gonna get more into talking about music and stuff. So I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. I don't know if I have a thing yet.